guys, Christy here with another Project Life Process video. This is the second in a series documenting some vacation photos that are from a trip we took to BC this summer. Just showing you some products that I'm going to be using. I've kind of rediscovered my stash of chipboard, so I'm trying to consciously make a decision and an effort to use all the chipboard. <laughs> so in this layout, I'm using a mix of Ali Edwards cards, uh, feature craft cut aparts and Maggie Holmes sunny days and then I'm pulling out the chipboard from Oasis and good vibes I think it's called primarily I'm going to use the chipboard from Oasis though um I do keep looking at this one. I originally picked the Good Vibes one because of the colors. This layout has a lot of fun, bright colors, but in the end, I just end up going more with the other collection. I'm also going to be using the Sunny Days sticker sheet just to kind of coordinate with that really fun pattern paper that I'm using for my title card. So this, uh, the photos from this week are also documented in my last video and my last video had a title card with the date and because that had a title card with the date I didn't really think it was necessary to repeat the date on this layout so instead I'm just going to do a really fun really simple uh, kind of title card that says lake getaway I've been trying to use these thickers on every layout but I just have not been successful yet. Uh, and I tried something different as well with those uh, chipboard thickers, but instead it was just looking a little bit unbalanced, a little bit too large with that getaway uh, chipboard. So instead I'm gonna remove the thickers um, and instead pull out my labels, which also came from Feature Craft. I just love the colors in this layout. They're just so fun and vibrant. And I think using the labels from Brandy Kincaid's Feature Craft Kit also kind of brings in that color. So initially I pulled out pink. There is quite a lot of pink in this layout. So instead I opted for the yellow. And the yellow isn't as bright as the tag card there, the 3x4 card with the bright yellow tag. But uh, it does pick up on the yellow that's on that pattern paper of the girls floating in the water which I think is just so, so cute. So uh, I'm glad I got to include that. That's a kind of a pattern that I wouldn't normally gravitate towards, but because there's so many water photos in this layout, I thought it was perfect. Uh, flipping through the sticker book, this is the Crate Paper sticker book. It has stickers from three Crate Paper collections, and I'm obsessed with all things Crate Paper, so I knew I had to have that. Uh, if you like the look of that sticker book, I'll link it in the description box for you. But in that sticker book, it comes with this alpha, which was perfect, because it brings in some of the bright pink that you see throughout the layout. And the such a great size too of alpha and it really saved me from digging through my own alpha so I love when that happens so I'm just flipping through I wanted to bring some more black into it and the sticker book has a mix of cardstock stickers or paper stickers I should say and vellum stickers and there's these great black phrases with the script that matches the getaway chipboard so I knew I really wanted to make an effort to bring those in so I'm going to lay them on this thicker alignment ruler because any kind of vellum sticker, once it's stuck on, especially onto paper, is impossible to remove. So you saw me doing that with the lake alphas as well. I laid them on the thicker alignment ruler first just to know that they were in the spot that I wanted them. Uh, because I would not be able to lift them off once they were on there and it's a little bit wonky especially the letter E there but um, it doesn't really bother me and so I chose the phrase play all day uh, of this photo of Nora in the water she loved swimming in the lake she was so content just to kind of do her own thing and she was so creative with her play so I wanted to document that and uh, I did use a chipboard piece uh, with the fawn, or is, is that what it's like? The fern? I don't know. <laughs> Prawn? 
Ah, I can't even think what it's called. But um, these, it's bothering me that I can't think of what they're called, but uh, I wanted to bring these throughout the layout. So I tried the chipboard on this side of the layout, but I just didn't like the way it looked, so I peeled that off. Uh, and unfortunately, my filming did cut out there. You didn't miss much on the opposite side. I just added some stickers from the book and called it good. This layout's pretty simple. I didn't go too, too crazy, but I just really wanted to repeat the elements of the black script and especially like this little girl sticker floating in the with the floaty I thought that'd be cool to repeat on both sides of the layout on the left hand side with the pattern paper and then on this side uh, on this uh, fun stripey card so I'm using this as kind of a filler card uh, I liked how it brought in the colors from the layout all in one place but then it kind of proved difficult to add a kind of a cluster of embellishments because it was looking a little bit too busy so I used some more of those leaves and the girl sticker uh, from sunny days Maggie home sunny days and I just thought it was a little bit getting a little bit lost so I tried to punch a sticker uh, sorry, punch a circle out of cardstock, but I only have two sizes of circle punches and they weren't the right size. One was way too big and one was just too small. So I'm just kind of trying to figure out what to do. I thought maybe I would just kind of add a strip of white at the bottom of the card like you often see. Uh, I went through the book again just trying to find something I thought maybe I could use that kind of medallion sticker but then when I saw this black sticker I thought that that was perfect because I did want to bring more black throughout the layout and it just kind of gives the cluster somewhere to sit and gives it a bit of a pop so I'm adding another label just to kind of repeat that on this side of the layout uh, which I did on the title card and I'm just gonna use the word this so again I'm just adding those onto the ruler making sure it fits really nice and I'm getting a little wonky so I'm fixing that and adding the word this I loved spending time with the girls at the beach we had the place pretty much to ourselves and just so many adorable photos uh, of them together playing in the sand Adeline refused to go in the water so a lot of her photos are just her on the beach and a lot of photos of Nora in the water bringing in another vellum sticker that says adventure uh, she got a little bit brave in the water and went further out than she normally would so that was cool to see and added some stickers uh, heart stickers there just to bring in some more color to the top of the layout brought in one of those kind of flag stickers also vellum to the bottom photo there it says so amazing and then I saw this black sticker and I thought it would look really nice and kind of bring more attention to the top of the card so I added that as well and I had this star chipboard on um, this totally great card which I love the color but wanted to bring in some more stickers from the sunny days collection sticker sheet so I brought in some flip-flops and that's pretty much it so I'm gonna put things back in pockets and look at the layout side by side um, the setup I have for filming doesn't really allow me to show you both sides in its entirety it's close it's super close but I decide it's good and I'm just gonna show you some close-ups here I love how quick this layout came together I love the colors and I mostly love the photos thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time Thank you.